Hey, what's up you guys? My name's Ali and welcome to my channel. Today we're looking pretty casual. I got my Patagonia sweatshirt on. I got some nice gray joggers on. I got my glasses on, not because of what today is, but because I scratched my cornea. We're dealing with it. It's been a week. Today we are doing thrifted loungewear. If you saw my last video, I just went through my closet and I got rid of quite a bit of things. And a lot of the things I got rid of were kind of like the cute tops and like the nicer bottoms that I like the look of. I like the look of them on other people, but I just never really found myself wearing them. So I told myself that I wanted to be much more realistic when I'm thrifting, when I'm shopping in general, about the things that I actually wear. What I actually wear is a lot of dresses, a lot of like very comfy dressier clothes, and I wear, you know, sweatshirts, sweatpants, and athletic wear. <laughs> That's what I wear. And especially kind of like the more sweatshirt, sweatpant loungewear is what I've been wearing a ton because I've been working from home. And even starting next week, I'm going to go back into work a little bit, but I'm still going to be working from home three days a week. And I just find myself wearing like the same sweatshirts and sweatpants over and over and over again so they're getting a lot of wear which is good but it would be nice to have a little bit more variety in my wardrobe and i know i will wear those kind of clothes a lot so i went to goodwill with the mission of only finding like loungewear type pieces and it is a little bit hard at my goodwill just because there's not really like a sweatpants sweatshirt section it's all mixed in together so it did take a little bit more effort than I had hoped it would take. <laughs> In the spirit of lounging around, it took more effort than I wanted to do. But I did get a few pieces, so let's get into the haul. Okay, so the first thing I got was this Under Armour sweatshirt. It's just kind of like a navy Under Armour sweatshirt with the logo and then the logo on the back, and that's what I like. I don't really want a super obnoxious print on my sweatshirts, and this is absolutely perfect. I was very, very happy with this find. It's still very nice and fluffy on the inside, like it's barely been worn, and there is not a flaw in sight. And I paid $4.29 for this, so I was happy with that. The next thing I got, I debated with myself for quite a while about, uh, and it is this kind of like velvety material track jacket. And I debated with it because I was like, is this super like mean girl's mom? Is this super early 2000s? But then I thought, I'm gonna wear it in my house, so I don't really care. <laughs> and it's very, very comfortable. And I thought this would be nice just to throw over a t-shirt or a tank top or whatever. And I do really like the color of this and it's so, so, so soft. So I am glad that I picked it up in the end. So this was originally $6.99, but I did get it half off, so I ended up paying only $3.50. The next thing I actually found in the dress section, and maybe this is supposed to be a dress, I don't really know, but in my mind it's kind of like this long sweatshirt. Maybe that's kind of the thing, maybe you could wear it as a dress, kind of like an athleisure look with some like heels maybe, but then you could also wear it over leggings and kind of just have the sportier look of it. So this might have been a really good find, I don't know, but it's very, very comfortable and I'm super glad that I picked this up. And this they actually labeled as a shirt. The price was $4.29, so same as the sweatshirt, so not bad at all for that. And this again is in perfect, perfect condition and feels like it was never really worn. The last clothing item I got was this pair of Champion sweats, and I actually was hoping I would find more sweats but there just weren't really any that were in good condition. There were a lot of like leggings, which that kind of like makes me a little bit nervous to get those like cotton leggings after someone. They're just a little bit gross, I feel like, and a lot of them were pilling really bad anyway. And there just weren't really a lot of like standard sweats like this that weren't like totally disgusting. So I'm definitely still on the lookout for some more sweats because I only have like three pairs right now and two could definitely be trashed because they're very very worn but I thought these champion sweatpants were very cute um, actually would be very cute with the Under Armour sweatshirt like if I was actually going out 
mixing logos, oh my gosh. Uh, but just have this like white stripe down the side and then our navy and that's about it. And as I said with the sweatshirt, I don't like things to be super complicated. So I am happy with that. And I paid $4.29 for the sweats. Okay, so these are the things that are a fail, unfortunately, because as I said, I like need some more sweats, but these are labeled as a large, which normally I have more than enough room in a large, especially from a brand like Champion. And um, they're a little tight on the bum and they're a little tight in the thighs. So, I mean, I can still wear these. They're not super comfortable though, being as tight as they are. So I'll probably just give these to my sister, which is unfortunate for me, but good for her. They might also be kids, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, these are the fail of a bunch. That's okay. And then I also got four books. I absolutely always go to the book section. Sometimes I'm more patient than others to like look through all the crappy random cookbooks that they always have. But I got four different books that I'm super excited to read. And guys, if you like to read forget half price books, forget Barnes & Noble sales section, go to Goodwill. Oh my gosh. Their paperbacks are $1, at least at my Goodwill, and the hardbacks are $2. So I spent $5 on four books. And these books are actually all in really, really good condition. If you're curious, I got Back to Blood by Tom Wolfe, Emma by Jane Austen, The Death and Life of Charlie St. Cloud by Ben Sherwood, that was kind of a weird movie, but we'll see if the book's better. And then Blackwood Farm by Anne Rice. So let me know if you read any of those. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. I make new videos every Monday and Friday about thrifty shopping, vlogs with my family, kind of everything in between. So if you like that kind of stuff, make sure to stick around and go and watch some of my old videos. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!